see uh, basically you want to know something about sifilinum isn't it so right sifilinum is a remedy for ocd in orthodox prescriptions or in congenital problems mm -hmm. hai na yes ki the uh, if a patient is suffering from asd or something very severe then we think of sifilinum right just keep this in mind because i come to know the, i'll come to this point later on with congenital problems okay. secondly what is ocd obsessive please compulsive. don't tell me obsessive compulsive disorder what is ocd what happens in ocd what 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 is going wrong in ocd why we are not suffering why why people are suffering with ocd because they feel dirt everywhere mm. there are some people who sit on their own sofa and still they try to mm. wash mm. their hands wash their mm. you know, pants or their face or and all and there are some people who comes up from railway stations bus stops comes and then they wash their hands so there must be something there are two types ocd is someone who is disgusting mm -hmm. what is ocd there must be a disgusting fact mm -hmm. there must be a disgusting stimulus on his own life which he wants to just wash it off but somehow he doesn't want to but it, there is some there is an impact on his mind subconsciously which doesn't allow the patient to wash it up got it it may be anything mm. if at all at your own house if your parent one of your parent or one of okay, take an example of a father who is at lankar who use filthy offensive language at their own home okay and now this child poor child who is being kicked on and off in abuse to what whatever you know, the father wants now this child will carry a disgust feeling of his own father at his own this right this father if at all he sits on this couch and get you no know, let only just move around somewhere else and this child sits in this on this couch then he will feel a yeah my father was sitting in the same couch shit now i have to wash my hands mm. got it mm. this is one of the aspect this i never see there are multi dimensional causes in this cases of ocd so i have to focus on one sifil in the mind talking about mm. Mm. i'm just focusing upon sifil because the crux of sifil in the mind discussed this dust secondly i'll tell you if at all if at all i am in a bus bus stand and if i'm a girl 17 18 years old girl and if one of a co traveler just mishandles or groups you know what is groping the girl that poor girl she feel oh god she is touching me and she in there is there are some situations where you cannot shout at him you cannot defy her you cannot cry out for help you have to just bear it silently if you are in a bus crowded bus and someone is just poking you gawping you and you are feeling shit yaar what the hell is doing yaar that is the this impact is formed at the subconscious level of the mind and then she feels that the whole surrounding mm. is dirty even if a man or a 64 years old man just looks at a girl she feels she she feels her sense she that man is touching you metaphorically shit and hence when she get, gets into the gets out of the bus she thinks first thing i go home and i will take a bath have food no 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 i won't have food why because 
he has touched here emotionally. First, I'll wash this. I'll wash this out. This is OCD of syphilis. I'll tell you how. Syphilis is a memory of a disgust. I'll share you a case. Once you'll understand this case, you'll find. Come to know what is disgust. A case suffering from warts. You are suffering from warts on the chin. I demonstrated this case in a seminar, national seminar in Jaipur. The warts were on the chin. There were only three to five warts. Three to five warts. So warts a big deal, isn't it? Four or five words are in the my neck. My, neck. my neck is full of words. I have around six to seven words on my neck. So that's not a big deal. This doesn't make me embarrassed at all. I cannot, I can just put off my shirt and go to swimming. I do swimming every day with carrying my words along with me. I don't feel that bad, right? Think it's bad, but that not. Not that bad, which will prevent you to live life. Mm. When he said, he came to me, he told me, Doctor, I'm just, I just can't tolerate these words on my chin. Why? Yuck. They're so dirty. I just don't want to. When there was a one word on my chin, I just went to the skin species and just put it off. No, just pull it off. After that surgery, the cauterization, within two months, I have got two bigger words on my chin again. Again, it was just impossible for me to bear these two words. I just couldn't see my face in front of my in front of the mirror. I just when I used to see those words on my on the, on the mirror, I just can't. It was so dirty. This is not that dirty, no. actually it is not that dirty, but that mm. subconscious disgusting feeling is not allowing the patient to stay steady and healthily with those words. I just, he just wanted to cut it off. Again he went for cauterization, again he was free from those words. After three months, there were four words. These four words, again he went to the same skin specialist, see the way of disgust washing and cut it off, washing desire to wash, mm. as if the what was something which was a shit like a thing on his chin and he just wanted to wash it off, isn't it? And this is what, and this is how syphilin uh, gets, uh, concern is just to kill it off, okay? This is how syphilin presentation in the beginning. He just doesn't want those things. Bas, I just don't want it. So the patient again went to the skin specialist and again uh, was uh, ready for cauterization. But the skin specialist was a very conscientious physician. He said, no, two times I already cauterized now and the cases are aggravating. I won't do it. Better you go for homeopathic medicines. And then he came to me. He came to me and first sentence was, I just want to get rid of this water. Come water me. I will do anything, but I don't want these things. You know what? She said, this is so disgusting. So, I yuck. I just can't see it. See, this is sitting. Second question, I'll tell you. There was a small corn and this, na this uh, nail was a bit infected for me. He told me, that I know, somehow I'm not able to sleep. look at this nail. I just want to remove the whole thing. I just remove it, sir. Pull it off, whatever. See, the kill days are the syphilitic nature of syphilin. The killingness, the destruction, the destructiveness of syphilin comes into matter. I just want to pull this nail off. I just can't see this. Ah, this is so disgusting. Again, think of syphilin. This syphil this is washing desire to wash. Mm -hmm. We have a rubric, washing desire to What wash? What wash? Those dirt, the disgusting mm -hmm. facts in your life. And if you go very deeply in case taking, if you go very deep into case taking, then you'll understand, then you'll come to know that this disgust is from within, from the subconscious mind. What 
Dr. Ken Saraswo, he had we understand the wheel and understand it. This disgust has been imbibed, impressed, endorsed in his wheel and understanding. And this is very important to understand. If you understand, want to understand, you can discuss if him just like that. Mm -hmm. On this disgusting feeling, washing desire to wash, kill desire to kill. This, I just want to finish it off. But if you want to understand the crux of sickness, the essence, I tell you what. There is strong disgust feeling of a typical person's life. I tell you, syphilinum is made up of syphilis. Well, you know what is syphilis? Have you seen ever in your practice a syphilitic chancre and ulcer? Syphilitic ulcer, have you seen? Syphilitic ulcer is very disgusting. You just can't see a syphilitic ulcer. Whack. This will be a... I have... There was a, a big curiosity, what is that VDRL mm -hmm. ulcers? I wanted to show, I wanted to see, I wanted to see. I said, oh, there was a good, good guy na, who told and showed me, see, this is a syphilitic chakra. And when I saw it, it was like, Eesh! I would have literally fainted looking at the ulcer. So disgusting, dirt and everything was there. So, how does it form? So I'll tell you, syphilitic, syphilitic uh, reaction. Syphilitic reactions, I tell you. Syphilitic reactions means what? See, you can suffer from, you means, no, I'm sorry, I'm not you. Means, anyone can suffer from HIV positive, HIV infections, right? It is a sexually transmitted. Most of the times, have you ever seen a syphilitic chancre in a housewife lady? Have you experienced any that? Most of the time, then it can have been, but the rate is around very, very, very low. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, the syphilitic shank or ulcers will observe in prostitutes. Mm -hmm. Why does a prostitute suffer from syphilitic ulcer? Imagine a 34 years prostitute is waiting for a customer and then a customer comes who has not bathed for around five to six days, boozed alcohol like anything, a full pack of marichan in his mouth, totally stinking body, totally body stinking, very dirty boy, very dirty customer, and he's paying you 500 rupees, or what? I'm sorry, he's paying you any, some money. Of course, that poor prostitute has to undergo the act of sexual intercourse. You imagine what must be going, what she must be going through when a 64 year old, dark, dirty, lousy fellow having sex with that prostitute. She will definitely feel, Yuck! isn't it so? She will definitely feel that dirt, that disgusting. She must have felt from within, she must bark a hundred times. Isn't it? This is the feeling of sleeping. This is OCD of sleeping. <laughs> and this bloody 64 year old man is doing what not whatever of his choice on her own body with that disgusting, lousy, stinky smell of his sweat, that alcohol and that everything. And she's, he's just bearing everything out of helplessness. What does she must be going through? That must, that is the, that is sifu. That feeling is sifu. And the same thing I tell you in congenital things. Congenital diseases. I sorry, I won't comment about congenital diseases because I'm conducting the same as a, of suspense nickel diagram. What has to be seen in congenital anaphylaxis is very important. It is very new because the process of congenital anomaly starts from the sexual intercourse of the woman. If I don't know, your, anyone's husband is that stinky, that lousy, that dirty and having the sexual intercourse with her wife, with his wife, sorry. The same wife will go in the state, state of prostitution, shock. And the child will definitely need a help. See what I am 
producing the fruit, this fruit is already rotten for itself. Mm. Isn't it? Mm. This rottenness is congenital anomaly. Got it? Mm. So this is how we have to understand. I tell you, congenital anomalies will have a full blown seminar for congenital anomalies. But this is just a just to feel how to deal with congenital problems, how to understand for syphilin, how to understand the remedy syphilin in this different way of understanding. Now you go back to repertory and understand, read every rubric of syphilin with this context. Then you will come to know what is syphilin in and out. Thank you very much.